This is just a wonderful event coming up on Saturday. And as I've said, I will be bringing you, um, you could say straight from the horse's mouth, um, excellence, positive achievement, posit positive aspects of African culture, positive aspects of culture generally. And I couldn't really get you any more, um, someone any more special um, than today. We have Chief Akinyemi Ele Bouyubon, who is from um, Nigeria and what we would call, what well, they would call actually um, a divinator. Um, when we're talking about um, culture, it's very important. Why? Because, in fact, it is, um, he's an Ifa priest, which who, who would be a diviner to uh, pick future um, leaders um, and future, uh, you could say, uh, rulers um, for the Nigerian, of, from the Yoruba culture, um, generally speaking, and the people. So, we are we are looking at culture here today. So, I would like to introduce you to um, Chief Akinyemi. Please. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here and be honored for this award and this presentation and to say hello to all of our people in diaspora. It's wonderful. So, I mean, we're here at the um, Nigerian High Commission, so it is quite a special um, place to obviously host um, the Film Awards. And do you realise you're wearing the Heart Culture colours, which is purple and green, and this is wonderful. We're talking about a beautiful union between um, the spiritual world and, and the earthly world and our, our physical body. So could you give us a little insight into your role as a diviner? Oh, thank you very much. A diviner is communicate between man and God. Each time that uh, we encounter a problem in our daily endeavor, when we are in darkness of life, it is essential to communicate and do the divination to find out what are responsible for our failure, our downfall, and how to make end meet to make a successful life for individual, a city, and everyone to do the consultation to find solution to their problem. Um, this is wonderful because um, we're at a special time where our culture is, as we call it, leading a golden era in arts and cultural engagement, where we're looking at people engaging more in the culture, engaging more in arts. How do you think that can change and transform people's lives? It, used, it does change uh, her life for better. Even in the, all over the world today, there's a lot of uh, different kind of uh, divination. Mm. People, the Chinese who used to consult I Ching, mm. and uh, in, in some European, they use a tarot. Mm. But this is Africa. This is a system for a Nigerian, a Yoruba uh, perspective. Yes. And it is has been ancient practice for a yes. long time and it used to help a lot. But we're talking thousands, I mean, we're talking thousands of years yes. when we're talking about an ancient tradition. Yes. Um, would you say it goes as far back as the dynasty of ancient Nubia? Or are we talking about sort of pre dynastic It is it's very, period? very ancient. It's before all that. It's very ancient. Mm -hmm. Very difficult to enumerate yes. the year. Okay. So we're talking about um, you know, presenting and um, helping people to engage. One of the ways that you also help people to engage, I believe, is you're traveling around countries, Cuba, Brazil, USA, Nigeria as well, of course, um, lecturing uh, about your role, about um, the origins of, um, of a divana, of a ifa priest. Yeah. So again, from your experience and your journey, I mean, has do you think that's helped to transform people's lives? People in the diaspora even, I mean, people from Yoruba land who has traveled and migrated far and beyond, you know, what is your perspective on engaging them in well, this well, way? Uh, all over the world, a lot of them are now start to speak Yoruba language. Yes. They studied, so the awareness is going on. Fantastic. So it's, uh, you know, it's growing. And as you said, key word is, um, is rediscovery. Yes. One of the issues we've been looking at is a return of the men of wisdom because um, in the UK, you know, the diaspora is quite large, you know, it's, it's quite wide and it's very diverse. So we're looking at welcoming or, you know, engaging with men of wisdom, you can say men like yourself as community leaders, as people who are um, helping to shape the community, as you said, to success, 
to positivity yeah. and to, as we say, a, a right path for spiritual enrichment. So, um, can you what what do you think about you know when we talk about men of wisdom in an African term? You know what what does that mean in a, in African terms? Well, the, the Christianity <coughs> and uh, all the Islam that uh, come to Africa. They had robbed a lot of culture. They converted a lot of people to their own membership. Okay. But uh, the system that Yoruba used to have is still there. Mm. Despite the uh, crusade, despite the propaganda that the Christian and Muslim have been made. Mm. Because of the foundation that mm. had been laid on the, on the truth and a very strong, powerful, the religion, African traditional religion, still continue yes. to help people to get out of their problem. It mm. make it survive. Mm -hmm. So, um, just to round up, then, um, you are a leader of culture. So, um, I don't think I need to ask you to love culture. But, Baba, can you tell the community, please, about loving culture? <laughs> well, my advice to every one of us is to remember that we are an African, and. Uh, we need to continue to speak our language and wear our dress mm. 